There's nothing worse than getting into a car that's been parked outside all night when it is a ripe 99 degrees out according to the dashboard. I know it's not actually 99 degrees out, but it is hot. What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Haven't done a vlog I feel like in a while. I am at home right now. I just returned yesterday from a two-week trip to Europe. Uh, it was like my college graduation gift was a trip to Europe with some friends. It was the most fun time ever. I literally just had like the best days of my life there. We went to London, Paris, Barcelona, and Lisbon. Obviously I vlogged the trip so you guys can stay tuned for those uh, vlogs will be coming soon. Uh, now I'm back home and just kind of have to get my life together a little bit. Um, what I'm doing right now in the car is I actually have to go uh, drive to Milwaukee. I left um, my like fanny pack I was traveling with that had my wallet and my passport and like all my important stuff in it I left it in her car in Milwaukee and unfortunately she's out of town for the next week so I kind of just have to go get it myself because I can't not have a wallet for like a week and a half so it's a little bit annoying that I have to drive three hours to pick it up but it's my own fault for being dumb and leaving it so I have a nice little solo road trip um, and I thought I would just vlog I have some life updates to give you guys first things first before any road trip we gotta stop for Starbucks Hello, can I please have a grande matcha lemonade? I've been on a huge matcha kick recently. I don't drink coffee um, just because it messes up my stomach so badly. It gives me the worst like headaches, uh, cramps, like anxiety shakes. I just literally can't drink it. I've tried and I can't do it. So um, I love green tea as my favorite choice of caffeine or like any type of caffeinated tea in general. Um, also Diet Coke, but I know that's like horrible for you. So I know the Starbucks ones have like a ton of sugar in it and stuff, but that's why they're good. We are on the road. I have about 50 minutes left to go. Um, this matcha lemonade is absolutely banging. They made it so good today. Sometimes uh, it's off. It's like too matchy or like too sugary, but this one is absolutely bussin'. So let's chat a little bit. Um, I guess the biggest life update is I graduated college. I graduated from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. You guys probably know that if you've ever watched one of my videos before, pretty much my whole channel became um, not only just college content, but uh, like Madison related content. That's like really just how I grew. Um, if you'd like to be Madison's next top influencer, let me know. Um, but yeah, I graduated. I double majored in political science and communications, and I also got a certificate in digital studies. So yeah, I'm officially a college graduate. I got my diploma in the mail the other day. And so of course, the question everyone wants to know is what's next? And I guess this is what I'll tell you. So I've had a job um, since back in March, but I've never like talked about it on YouTube. Um, but I am moving to Austin, Texas. I know I'm like the only college grad moved to Austin, Texas right now. Um, but yeah, I have a job down there and I'm moving in August. Um, like I said, I've had, I've had the job since March. Uh, in Austin, but now I finally am like getting prepared to move. I have a roommate. I found a place to live We haven't like gotten the apartment yet, but we applied for it. I mean, I'm really really excited um, I'm just so excited to live down there. I love Austin so much um, and I'm just excited for a change in my life um, like I loved college so much and it really sad to leave like the whole last week of college leading up to graduation I was just like an emotional wreck basically um, and I'm really sad to obviously leave my friends and just leave that whole lifestyle because college is honestly like the simplest, most carefree my life will be moving forward. Um, so I'm really, really going to miss it, but I'm also, it helps that I'm so excited to move in for this next chapter. Um, what I really get stuck on is like that that's it, you know, it's one thing to just like be excited to go to Austin, but I keep forgetting that it's like not just like a little vacation or like a little summer camp like no that this is like the rest of my life and I'm simply never going back to college and there's so many people that I'm literally just never going to see again you know like obviously my good friends I'll see again but just people I was kind of just acquaintances with or you would just see out at the bars or out at parties and you would talk to but you never like saw each other outside of that um there's a lot of people I'm never going to see again and it's weird everyone's going their own ways I went to college really close to home my college and my hometown were like 20 minutes away and now I'm moving like I don't even know how many miles Austin's like a 17 hour drive so it's gonna be a big change, but I'm really excited for it. That's what I wanted. I literally only applied to jobs in other states far away because that's always what I wanted to do since I had, like I love Madison so much. I love UW, it was like the best college experience for me. But um, with that being said, since I had gone to school so close to home, I had always wanted to move elsewhere after school. I don't really know what's next for YouTube in terms of like moving away. Obviously I'll probably do like moving vlogs and stuff like that because that's good content, but I don't know how much I plan on doing YouTube in the future like so much of my channel just became a college channel and I just don't know if I like want to go into the real world in the workforce like 
and be the girl with the YouTube channel, you know? Arrived at the destination. We made it, we got it. While I'm here, I'm gonna go to this little grocery store that I come to when I go to my roommate's house. They have really good, like, gluten-free sandwiches and stuff, so. This is the outpost haul. First off, I got two um, of these Olipop soda things. I've been on a big soda kick recently, which is probably not the best habit to start picking up, um, but I love this stuff. I got the root beer flavor and then the orange flavor. I got this little gluten-free brownie and then this um, gluten-free sandwich, ham and turkey with cheese. This is their like gluten-free homemade flatbread and it is some of the best gluten-free bread that I've ever tried. So love this stuff. Haven't had one of these since like January. Now I'm just going to head back home. Another hour and a half drive. It's so freaking hot out. I'm trying to not complain and I'm trying to like wean myself into it because I'm moving to Texas and it's gonna be a lot hotter than this. Hello, it is actually the next day. Um, I forgot I was vlogging honestly, um, but I still have not finished unpacking my suitcase. I finally did all my laundry. I still have to put it all away. Um, but I figured while my room is still a mess and I still have everything out, I would do my Europe haul. Um, I just filmed a little one for TikTok. I just have like way more active followers on TikTok. I feel like a lot of people don't watch my TikToks and my vlogs, but I also like post a ton on TikTok and like don't post much on YouTube. So I don't know if you've seen this already, my apologies, but thanks for being a follower. Chronologically, the first place we went was Paris and I did the most like biggest shopping there. Basically, I justified it by saying that, you know, you get the tax refund abroad. Um, I had like really wanted these things and what better place to get them than Paris because these are like Paris brands. Um, I got money for graduation. I wanted to buy myself nice souvenirs that I'll have forever. First place we have is Saint Laurent. This was a horrible shopping experience. The people there were the absolute worst. I really regretted giving them my business, but whatever. Um, I got this wallet. It is so beautiful and stunning. It's this really pretty light gray color with the gold hardware. It has a lot of nice pockets. There's this big one on the back, a couple inside. I still have a pound note I got exchanged somewhere says Saint Laurent Paris uh, stamped in there. My friend also got a matching one in black so I think that's really cute. Next up we have Hermes. This was a great shopping experience. I really loved the people there. The store was so beautiful. It was like three stories. The people were so nice and helpful and welcoming um, so I ended up buying like multiple things here. I bought like the bracelet for myself you're about to see and then I also bought some stuff for my mom and like for other people because the people there were so nice and I wanted to give them more of my business. Saint Laurent like I could not get out of there fast enough. This is the bracelet that I got. It has this gold um, hook clasp design and it's on this really pretty classic saddle brown leather band. I had gone in there wanting this in orange because orange is like Hermes's signature color but they didn't have any and I think the brown is nice. It's a little more wearable, more classic. Um, this looks super nice stacked with my gold watch. I've been wanting an Hermes bracelet forever and like I said just like there's no better place to buy it because you get a little discount and also it's just like the best souvenir to like have an Hermes bracelet from Paris. Also in Paris went to this shop called Pimkey. It was like Forever 21 vibes kind of. Um, I got this cute set. This is what the skirt looks like. It's pink gingham. Gingham and pink are like my two favorite things so I absolutely love this set. Um, and this is what the matching top looks like. It's this cute collared shirt. Then I got this bikini in Paris. It looks like this. It's this really pretty olive green color and it's shimmery and sparkly. It really reminds me of uh, the triangle swimsuits, but it was super inexpensive. Each piece was like 10 euros, um, but I really, really love this suit. I bought this hat from one of the sellers um, outside the Eiffel Tower. I mean, it, when you go to a city with your name all over it, you, you gotta buy something with your name on it. So I got this hat. Um, just be glad that I didn't buy one of the I Heart Paris t-shirts because I was going to do it, but I thought this was at least like a little bit less obnoxious. The next place we went was Barcelona. We did a bunch of shopping at Zara because Zara is a Spanish company, so like we just had to go there. First thing I got this dress that I love so, so much. I actually saw like multiple women wearing this dress in Spain and I kept thinking to myself that it was so cute and I wondered where it was from and then sure enough we went to Zara and it was on a mannequin, so I should have guessed it was from Zara. Um, but looks like this. This is really cute, um, ruffly polka dot maxi dress. I got this skirt. I just love this so much. It has such beautiful details on it. Um, it just is super Spanish. Um, I wore this in Portugal too. Got so many compliments on it. Um, I also like this because you can wear it as a top. Um, the skirt like scrunches up and you can wear it as a little strapless top. So I thought this was really fun. Um, and then the last thing I got from Zara was this jean skirt. It's jean shorts and has shorts in the back but then the front um, makes it into a little skirt. It's kind of like little kid vibes, definitely like Y2K um, kid vibes, but I think it's cute and I think it's a little cute way to like dress up jean shorts. So the next place we went to was London. I didn't do a ton of shopping there because I had already spent so much money, but they had a really cool uh, Rolling Stones store there and I bought this shirt that I'm going to send to my brother. Um, it says Stones on the front and then has You Can't Always Get What You Want in really cool font on the back. I guess I'll show you. I got this shirt for my sister because I showed you the shirt I got for my brother. Um, Harry Styles had a like merch pop-up in London while I was there so we went to it and I got her 
um, a Love on Tour t-shirt. She's going to a tour in the US, but this one's cool because it's um, from the Europe segment of the tour, so it has like all the European cities on the back. And we went to Twining's Tea Company, which is the oldest tea company in England. It was a super cool, like tiny, tiny little historical store, and I love drinking tea, so I just got a bunch from there. I just couldn't get over how inexpensive it was, each box. And then our last stop was Lisbon, Portugal. I first got this really beautiful bracelet um, from a jewelry store that we found. It's uh, like two chains together, it's gold, and then has this really pretty, like colorful beaded one on it. So cute for summer. And then we went to a vintage store, and I found this blouse, which is really really fun it's kind of hard to see right now but it's hot pink it's real silk and it was only like 20 euros and um, it buttons down all the way in the front and then it has this pretty tie so it like ties in a bow up at the neck and I thought this would be a good work top and now my room is a mess and a disaster and I need to actually finish doing laundry and putting stuff away this is the state of my room now definitely not perfect but it's a lot better than it was. This is like a bag of trash I have to throw out. These shelves have been cluttered for months. I don't think I'm ever getting past those. Definitely an improvement for sure. I also decided to wash my sheets and my bedding. I finally got my diploma in the mail. Um, it actually didn't take that long. It was only like a month after graduation. But looks like this. It is honestly nothing special. I literally could have made this on Canva in five minutes, but like, it doesn't even have my majors or my college or anything. It literally just says Bachelor of Arts. But whatever, it's officially official. Your girl made it, so now I need to, like, buy a diploma frame or something, I guess. They say Wisconsin has two seasons, winter and construction, and we are right in the midst of that second season right now. Um, traffic is absolutely heinous going towards downtown, but um, I'm out running a bunch of just, like, random errands that I have to do that I've been putting off. I've already done a few things, but what I'm on my way to do now is go to Trader Joe's. I have two things that I'm gonna buy two I'm gonna hold myself to that standard usually Trader Joe's like everything is so inexpensive on its own that you end up buying 50 things I'm going for bagels and matcha that is what I'm holding myself to I know I'm gonna get more things like when I go in there and see things but I'm really gonna try my darndest to not buy a lot of things in positive news Luke Combs just came out with a new album and I'm finally listening to it all the way through right now and it's really good his last album is like one of my favorite country albums ever so I'm excited for this I think that may have been my fastest Trader Joe's trip ever. I swear I was only in there for like two minutes. Did buy a few more extra things than bagels and matcha, but um, I didn't buy too much. Got some beef jerky. This is really not a healthy grocery haul whatsoever, but whatever. Um, I saw they had gluten-free JoJo's, which I've never seen before, so I'm excited to try these. Um, I also got these gluten-free chocolate muffins. These are like one of the best gluten-free baked things I've ever had. They're so good. Um, and then I also got gluten-free English muffins. These are good for breakfast. Camera just died. I have no idea how to set up my phone on here, but the last two things I got were the things that I came for. Gluten-free everything bagels. These are literally the best gluten-free bagel to ever exist on earth. I love them so much. And matcha powder. 